Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to the center of Moscow. I'm in GUM department store right here at Red Square. Now by request I'm going to take you for a walk around the supermarket right behind me here in GUM. Let's go. Now since visiting here a week ago there seems to be a lot more decorations up. Now when I came last week it wasn't nearly as kind of fully decorated but now they've got different uh, trees. It's kind of interesting here too, the, each different tree as you walk through the whole shopping center here is kind of sponsored by a different brand that's got a store here. And the one that's right out the front here is pretty neat because it's kind of ceramics. And these are kind of handmade little miniature, well, ornaments for the tree, right? But they're Kind of made out of uh, some sort of a ceramic or a porcelain very neat but this is where we want to go right here so this is called gastronomy number one or deli number one now it's open every day 9 a.m till 11 p.m now that's a late night opening i didn't realize i thought it was maybe even 9 or 10 p.m but till 11. now it's going to be a bit hard to kind of see everything in here so we'll kind of walk slowly and we'll walk around and check it out. Now, obviously now this is a lot more kind of prepared for the holidays. So there's a little bit more kind of Christmas and New Year things, but very famously since back in the 1950s, kind of Russians came here, people from all over the kind of Soviet Union would come here to buy gifts, to take back to their friends and family wherever they lived and especially to find things that just aren't in common stores in Russia. So, look at all the different types of chocolate here. So many choices of chocolates. And I'm pretty sure we won't even have to do a kind of pause in the video. Have a look at all these types of honey. This is very neat, isn't it? So there's a, kind of all these sort of nice packaged ones. And then you can get them in the classic tubs as well if you're not so bothered. These are kind of nice to take back as gifts for people or put them in a little kind of Christmas kind of hamper that you'd put together. But, oh, chocolates everywhere. This is my weak spot, especially Belgium chocolate as well. These seashell ones right here, they look like the Guerlain ones, but I think there's a lot of other brands that do very similar ones to this. So the store is pretty much exactly how it looks since it very first opened back in the 1950s. This is also the famous Gum ice cream right here if you don't want to line up outside. Look at that, they've even got Baskin Robin as well. It's not so traditional Russian, but I guess they're kind of keeping up with the times. They've got the Baikal water there as well. But how nice is this place? Now, there is definitely shoppers in here. There's a lot of people that kind of tend to come looking for gifts and presents. You're not really going to come in here and do your weekly shop. That's a certainty. It's uh, probably a little bit too elaborate for that. Oh, have a look at these. I don't even know what they call it. Is it like praline? I'm not too sure. There's so many different things in here that I don't get in my local shops. So. Oh, look at these nice packages here of these chocolates. And as we keep walking, they've got these very old uh, Russian songs playing as well. Uh, kind of really puts you in the mood. Oh, these big baskets right here. Kind of they put everything together as a suggestion. Now a lot of these, yeah, kind of these, uh, I guess holiday packs, you can buy in other supermarkets and other places, but the ones here in Gum are quite unique. Have a look at these cakes here. Holy smoke. Oh, tiramisu, cheesecake. Wow, so nice. So they have these original counters here as well. So there's kind of a bakery one over this side. And then over here, they've got the bread counter as well. And they've got the ladies. And we'll look at all these different breads right here. Anybody spot their favorite one? Let me know in the comments. So nice, these choices of breads. 
Probably the safest thing to do is not come in here hungry. That's an absolute certainty because otherwise you'll buy way more than what you need. I think it would be very easy to kind of fill your basket without uh, kind of blinking. Oh, more suggestions right here. Wow. You've got all these different biscuits, snacks. So nice. All these other breads. Wow. So there is kind of typical and traditional uh, items that you can get in here. Look, you can get the common kind of uh, container of salt. But a lot of people will come here for very unique things that definitely don't exist in the corner store or the close to home shop where we live. All the different types of waters here. Here's some more cakes and pastries. Oh. Oh, so, so nice. Now I do feel like I'm gonna miss some kind of corner of the store here walking around. So just sort of take it in and kind of feel the atmosphere of the place. I think that's kind of something that you can do. Yeah, the uh, sweets counter here where they've got all the, uh, you can get the candy by weight. And a lot of the original uh, kind of Soviet ones that were kind of People were growing up. Biscuit tins. But yeah, so many things that uh, we're just not used to sort of seeing in any sort of store or market. You can find it right here in in the Gum supermarket. It's very interesting. There's a small kind of beer section, but what they're very well known for here is their wine selection. They've got one of the best in all of Moscow. And the wine section kind of goes on and on. Here's some more. What are these different coffees over here? Coffees and teas. Yeah, and these nice kind of tins. Wow. Oh, hi everybody. I think it's hard to get a grasp of how big their wine selection is. I mean, is it considered the largest wine selection in Moscow? I mean, I think it's pretty close. I mean, especially for a single store, we're, we're still in the same shop. We've not kind of walked into separate stores here, but there's a very, very impressive se selection. All these choices here. There's even some uh, sparkling wines over here on the back. Cognacs. Wow. I have been in here quite a few times, by the way. It's not somewhere I'm walking in the first time, but you do definitely see a lot of things you don't see each time you come in. I think they've kind of got a bit of a habit of changing this store around quite frequently. Have a look at all the choices here. And as you walk around the back of this wine selection over here, it does keep on going and going. Um, and then got a lot of the different spirits, so alcohols, whiskies. There's even tequila here. Have a look at this little tequila section. Jose Cuervo right there. Coralejo. So yeah, there's a lot of very uh, unique products here that aren't in other shops in Russia, that's a certainty. I mean, if I look at all the different cognacs, rums, whiskies, it's a pretty big package sort of uh, items here as well, but all the different whiskies. And there's even a very nice rum selection here as well. Brugal here, Dominican Republic. And some Cuban rums. We even got from Louisiana, the Bayou, which you don't see. <laughs> You'd even struggle to find this in a lot of uh, American shops, let alone coming into Russia to find it. All of the Armagnacs. Then have a look at how many choices of champagnes they have. So many, they just keep on going. Now, 
It's a very popular thing uh, in the new year in Russia to have champagnes and uh, have a celebratory drink kind of coming into the new year. So you've kind of got the new year, which is the 31st of December, and then the Russian kind of holiday in uh, January. There's some vodkas over here as well. Have a look at these giant bottles here. These are called Jerobombs. So they're typically three liter bottles. In some countries, these aren't even legal. And then here in Russia, they're right on the shelf. So this seems to be where they get all of the kind of gift baskets from. There's a couple of ladies back here kind of busily putting them all together and creating different kind of gift baskets, wrapping them in the cellophane and then having them ready. So it's an easy way just to walk in and find something that's an easy gift for somebody. So this is one of the middle islands here where they've got the uh, checkouts so you can obviously pay for things. But they've got a couple of different fridges here with caviar in. So uh, this is the black caviar, which is kind of as expensive as somebody's mortgage payment. But they definitely have the good stuff if you want it. Now, I'll be kind of honest with you. I've probably shopped in here maybe once or twice in all the years I've lived in Moscow. And I pretty much just stopped by to buy some chocolate or a drink. Uh, I've never really kind of bought anything to take home for the house. It's just kind of a snack or a drink while I'm walking around. But I mean, there's so many choices in here, you, you wouldn't know where to start. Here's some more. Kind of these are some of the marzipan kind of uh, items here that you can buy in some of the stores in Moscow. Then they've got some of these older kind of Russian brands and packagings. And then more kind of holiday ideas right here. All oh, these choices, oh, look at these, there's cars and trains. So many to choose from. As we keep walking, we head around here then to some of the other food items. There's actually some of the different fish. Uh, kind of the dried fish, cured fish. I'm not sure is the really the appropriate name, but it's definitely some uh, different choices here. Yeah, this store definitely changes quite a lot in December, heading into January, and they really, really kind of go next level with their gift ideas and suggestions. It's. Uh, it's kind of quite an, an, an extreme, really. Here's some more normal kind of uh, food items. Steak sauces. You know, we've even got some uh, pasta sauce here. Finally, something that I know, the muti here. We have this in Australia, this brand of pasta sauce. I see all these different pastas though, I don't really recognize too well, but I guess they're... Uh, Maybe some different imported ones. Oh, they've got their own pilmeni here too. I wonder if they're making that right in the store. Possibly they are. And then, I'm not going to scare everybody, but this is probably the most expensive eggs in Moscow here. By quite a long way, but definitely if you, I guess if you live a few streets from here and this is your local supermarket, all of their meats here are from Miratok, which is a brand of uh, supermarkets in Russia, which sort of specialize in meats. And have a look at all the different choices of the spices. Olive oils, salts, quite a lot now. My friend Lauren's here, if he ever watches the video. We always have a bit of a joke about this Himalayan salt. You know, it's been uh, a thousand years in the making. And then you can buy it right in the supermarket, uh, anywhere you go in the world. But it's uh, nice. More choices. Well, they're playing Frosty the Snowman. But it's the only one without the Russian words. So. All these different oils, cooking sprays. Wow. And I wonder, depending on where you live in the world, do you have moose meat? and reindeer meat. There's all the different types here. There's even bear. 
Have a look at all these uh, kind of exotic meats and cured meats. I hope that one's not a rabbit in that one just there, but some nice baskets though. And lots of different pickled vegetables, which is very well known in Russia. They kind of pickle and jar anything possible. Uh, and here's more the kind of supermarket end. We kind of walk from one end to the other. Here's some prepared foods. The kind of heat and eat versions that we've seen in other supermarkets, but nice pasta there, chicken. Oh, very nice. Some grilled vegetables. So yeah, you can definitely get some nice food to take home. Already cooked. Here's more of the deli ham, salamis, cabanossis. Have a look at all the choices. I mean, I want you kind of, kind of just to get a bit of a feeling for this store. It's sort of right in the center of Moscow, right in Gum here in Red Square. This was kind of the store to come to for so many years. You know, when you couldn't find that certain product, you'd come here, be able to find something that no one else has got, give it as a gift to somebody, and then you've got that unique present. Here's some different types of cheese. There's some cottage cheeses. So these are predominantly imported ones. This is uh, some of the domestic ones here, some local milks, kefirs, cottage cheeses. The one thing that's probably noted if you really are looking close, I mean, not everything is cheap in here. I mean, it's probably better quality, it's unique brands, different products, but, oh, pancakes, very nice. Oh, and some salads as well. Nice herring and a fur coat right there. All the different uh, prepared salads. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's reasonable prices, but I think a lot of people aren't really coming here to kind of save a few rubles when they're doing their shopping. We can definitely shop closer to home to, to kind of overcome that. All the olives here. And these are very much the normal kind of supermarket sort of brands that we'd be used to. The extensive canned food section with just peas and corn. And as we keep walking here, more food. And there's some uh, preserved fruits right here. Different nuts. It's uh, well, well stocked now. I don't want you kind of to take away that, you know, there's nobody shopping, no one's got nothing in their hand. I mean, this isn't really that kind of store. I mean, they will get people coming in here, but... Oh, nice. All the different things are still more than available. And Mandarin season is starting very soon now, so... We can slowly get mandarins. Look, they're already here in the bags. Look at that. Pineapples in December in Russia. All the different fruits, grapes. So yeah, no matter the time of year, you can come in here and still get all of these things available. Persimmons, right there. Look at the size of these kiwis. These are huge. So here's some more different cheeses as well. So they got the Swiss flag proudly on the front of the container here, in front of the glass case. And there's uh, Russian cheese as well. Has anyone seen green cheese before? That's a little bit different. Green cheese. I'm not that much of a cheese connoisseur to know my different cheeses. But then there's some more deli items right here. Yogurts. There's some hams. Cottage cheese. So yeah. Very nice store. And if you're just in for a snack here, you can get yourself some sliced pineapple. Some fresh kiwi. Mandarin. Some fresh juices and compotes. And they've got these very big glass cylinders here. I don't know what they're called actually, but they have the different compotes here and tahun uh, that they serve here just by the glass. So just to prove that there is people paying for things, this is one of the last checkouts here at the other end. So as you head on out, again, they kind of have all these different 
kind of sweets and treats and uh, candies right here that you can get from the counter here with the lady. But there is definitely uh, people shopping in the store. More chocolates. These are uh, definitely kind of the tourist style ones that you're going to take and give presents when you leave Russia. I don't sort of see any uh, chocolate in my local Pitorochka that's got a picture of the Kremlin on the front. Okay, everybody, I'm just walking out now of deli number one here in Moscow in Gum. What did you think of this bit of a walk around now? This isn't going to be about showing the, the food in Russia, what's available, what's not. This store is very different to that. It's really different sort of atmosphere, different feeling to a traditional supermarket. So let me know in the comments, have you visited deli number one in Moscow before? Maybe you're from Russia, maybe you're not. Maybe you've been to Moscow and you've been to this department store and you've been in that supermarket. Let me know in the comments, maybe when you were here, some point over the years. Thanks everybody for watching Traveling with Russell. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Post a comment. I'm gonna go for a bit more of a walk around now. I'll put another video for you to watch right here. You can watch that right afterwards if you like. You can, I've actually got a video walking around here if you wanna check that out. I'll put that right there for you. So thanks everybody. See you later.